your contact lenses have cancer-causing chemicals in them? Well, if you want to find out the answer, keep watching. everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, eye makeup health, and a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. So if any of that interests you, make sure to hit the like, subscribe, follow along button so you get all of these videos as soon as I make them. This recently hit the news that there are forever chemicals, also called PFAS, in your contact lenses. And these chemicals have been shown to cause cancer. Is this dangerous? Do you need to throw out your contact lenses right away? I'm going to break it all down and explain if you should be worried or why you maybe shouldn't be. All right, let's get to it. So first, what are PFAS? PFAS stands for per or poly fluoroalkyl substances. These are also known as forever chemicals, and they are in a lot of things that we use daily. In fact, a study by the CDC showed that 98% of us actually have forever chemicals already in our systems. Now, there have been studies that have linked the presence of PFAS with cancers, thyroid abnormalities, infertility, just to name a few medical problems. Now, a lot of the studies that have shown this are using rats or mice and using really, really high concentrations of PFAS. So we don't exactly know if these things cause problems in humans in the amounts that we have them in. But we have a ton of PFAS exposure in our daily life. It's in makeup. I've done an entire video about PFAS and makeup. You can check that out here. It's in our sandwich wrappers and your to-go bags, in my surgical scrubs to keep things waterproof. Basically anything to keep something waterproof likely has some kind of PFAS in it. So this explains why it's in contact lenses. Contacts are made up of PMMA, which is an older lens technology, silicone, which is what's found in newer contact lens technology, which just makes them more breathable and better, and also fluoropolymers. Now, fluoropolymers help create oxygen permeability. They allow the oxygen to pass through the contact lens. And that's really, really important because when you put a contact lens on the surface of your eye, you're actually depriving the front surface, which is called the cornea, from oxygen. We don't like that. So the industry has developed better and better contact lens materials to allow oxygen to reach the front surface of the eye. If you don't have enough oxygen to the cornea, then you get things like neovascularization, which gives you the red you may actually even then become intolerant of wearing contact lenses. There's a lot of problems that can happen. It can even predispose you to infections because oxygen is necessary to combat microbial infections and contact lens wearers are just much more likely to develop infections because we're constantly touching our eyes. Now, the study that I'm talking about is a consumer study, meaning it was not carried out by a group of eye doctors. It's not by scientists. It wasn't at a university lab. This this was by a website called Momovation, and they like to monitor how much PFAS is in certain things. They've got a whole list of things that they have tested from tampons to now contact lenses. And what they did was they sent 18 of the most popular contact lens brands and types to a lab. And this was by an EPA certified lab. So it certainly is a reputable lab. And they found that all 18 brands of contact lenses had some kind of organic fluorine in them. All right, well, I just talked about PFAS. Now, why am I talking about fluorine? What they did was they used organic fluorine as a marker for the PFAS. There's so many different types of PFAS that it's really hard to just measure a couple because you might miss other ones. And studies have shown that if you use fluorine as a marker, it's a pretty good way to check to see if there's PFAS in something. Now, is that universally accepted as a way of monitoring PFAS? Absolutely not. So that's one thing to just bear in mind. We don't 100% know if fluorine is going to tell us exactly if PFAS is in something, but they did find that there was a lot of fluorine, some more than others in all of these contact lenses. And the labs that they tested were 
Alcon, AccuView, and Cooper Vision. Those are the makers, the manufacturers of the specific types of contact lenses. And they tested varying types from daily ones to astigmatism ones, et cetera. And there's a list. I will pop that down below so you can see it right there. Oh, there it is. Should you worry? Well, like I mentioned, PFAS isn't everything from your Teflon, nonstick cookware to waterproof sports gear that you are, it's in a lot of things. Contact lenses go on the surface of your eye. Now they found when they tested that there were more than a hundred parts per million of fluorine in these contact lenses. Now, just to give you something to measure it against, 50,000 parts is what's considered safe in your drinking water. But again, drinking water, you're ingesting it. Contact lenses are on the surface of your eye. But that being said, things that go on your eye, drops that get put in your eye, do get systemically absorbed. So it is certainly something to be mindful of. The fluoropolymers in the contact lenses not only increase the oxygen transmission to the front surface of your eye, they also make them more water and heat resistant, which are good things. So should you be worried? Do you need to go ahead and toss out those contact lenses? Fluorine is in a lot of things. And we just don't know the impact of fluorine or PFAS in your contact lenses. Maybe it might be associated with dry eyes or allergies, which we see a lot more of in patients with contact lenses versus those who don't wear them. Remember, the blood levels of PFAS or fluorine were not measured in this study. They just measured the contact lenses. So we don't know the real world application, like how much PFAS in your contact lenses actually get into your bloodstream. But in in general, eye drops can be absorbed into your body, and we usually say about 5% of an eye drop can be absorbed systemically. This is why we avoid certain eye drops in kids, babies, and pregnant women. Now, some of the contact lens companies whose contact lenses were tested are disputing these claims. They say that they have no organic fluorine, no PFAS in their material, so they actually want to see a report. And so we've got to just wait and see if these study results can be replicated by a lab and not just a mommy blog. So is it better then to look for contact lenses that don't have fluoropolymers? Here's the thing. If the fluoropolymers are what's making the contact lens more oxygen transmissible, and I don't 100% know if that's the case, but most of the evidence says it does, then I don't want my patients putting on a contact lens that is less oxygen permeable. I don't want them to get less oxygen to the front surface of the eye. Yes, some of the older technology might not have the fluoropolymers, but they might have dangers for the eyes or for the body in a different way. So if this study is concerning to you, then I would recommend just stopping contact lenses altogether if that's your choice and opting for glasses instead. But you have to look at the study, look and figure out if this is worrisome to you right now. We just don't have the data or the studies that show if the contact lenses, if that PFAS amount that gets into your bloodstream, does it cause problems? We just don't know. But if if you're the kind of person who wants to err on the side of being conservative, go ahead and stop using those contacts. Personally, I've got my contact lenses in right now and I will continue to wear them, just being mindful of how long I wear them and alternating with glasses, which is always a really good habit to start because you can get contact lens overwear from a lot of different things. But you guys have to make your own decision about what you think is safe for you. The jury's still out. We don't have enough evidence to make a consensus statement in terms of ophthalmologists or optometrists. So that's why you haven't seen us do so. But once we've got more studies, once we understand what the potential risks of PFAS in your contact lenses are, then you'll be hearing from us. But in the meantime, more than likely your contacts are safe and are not going to cause cancer. But that being said, if you feel worried, just go ahead and stop them and switch to glasses instead, which are always healthy. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you have any questions or comments below, if you're concerned about your contact lenses, drop them down and I will read all of them. If you've got any other topics you'd like for me to address, make sure to put those in the comments below as well and I will get to them. Until next time, I'm Dr. Rupa. Bye for now.